Hello everybody, this is Carrie and welcome to, this is basically what I am showing off is what my body looks like on a basic level at nine months on hormone replacement therapy. And, you know, I kind of didn't mean to do this, like, you know, um, you see me in my vlog throwing a wig and um, kind of covering up my body, so I figured I'd make a raw video just showing everybody this is nine months of what hormones have done for me. And, all right, so, first of all, as you can see, you know, I have kind of gotten a shape from hormones. Um, weight loss played a big part in this. I started out hormone replacement therapy at 270 pounds, and through the paleo diet, which is basically just a diet consisting of meat and veggies and low glycemic index fruits, I have been able to lose 47 pounds. I am now at 223 pounds. So that has, and almost all the weight has come, off, has come off my middle. Um, I still have a bit of stomach fat, as you can see, but compared to where I started out, so gratifying, I swear. Um, and, you know, I always had kind of a more hippie shape where I didn't carry a lot of my weight on my midsection. I always did have a waist. So, um, yeah, that's been awesome. Um, I really have kind of gotten a feminine waist where, you know, a lot of trans girls do have problems with that. So, that feels pretty good. Um, the biggest change over the last three months from the six month mark has been in muscle reduction. Like, I think you remember maybe in my second vlog, I was constantly like turning to the side and complaining about how big my shoulders were and how thick my chest was and how big my neck was. Well, over the past three months, it has gotten a lot better. Um, specifically, like in the shoulder area. Like, I actually did a video to compare to that second vlog, and the shoulders just, and the arms just shrunk so much muscle wise. And, you know, like right now, I can wear this and it doesn't look completely hideous. It would have, I would have looked like a freaking bodybuilder Amazon back when I first recorded that video, where now it's still not quite there, but I can see how eventually it's going to work. Um, and you know, it doesn't look completely hideous, I hope. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best judge of that, but, um, but yeah, that's been a big difference, is, you know, I'm able to wear things and not feel like my upper body is completely hideously, massively masculine. So that has definitely been a big improvement over the last three months. And also strength has really gone down. Like a couple months ago, I was trying to lift the lawnmower into the car and I couldn't. <laughs> Where before, I lifted a freaking rototiller out of the car and while it was difficult, I did it. Where this, I actually had to like lean the lawnmower up on the front because I couldn't just deadlift it from the ground anymore. So I have lost a lot of strength. And, you know, especially because of the work situation, I've been spending a lot of time just sitting in bed doing nothing. So, unfortunately, I have lost a lot of muscle in a bad way, too. Like, I was out doing a two-mile walk last night, and that used to be no problem for me, where after doing it last night, I really was starting to get a bit tired. So, part of this is just because I've been sitting around doing nothing, which is not a good thing, and part of it is just the lack of testosterone making my muscles go away and they have started to visibly reduce in size. Also, um, I also want to talk about the band size on my bra, where before, like, about at six months when I first started buying them, they, I had to buy a 42, and I actually had trouble wearing them long term because the band felt so tight, and 42 was pretty much the biggest I could get and still get a B cup, so, um, it was kind of uncomfortable and I couldn't do it. And when all of a sudden, like, the muscles in my chest and, like, I don't know, it's almost like the skeletal muscle has relaxed a bit and it's made my chest cavity shrink in. So now the 42s that I'm wearing are actually a bit loose. And I can wear 40s now and it's not too uncomfortable. I prefer the 42s just because they're nice and loose and roomy and you know, <clears throat> tightness around the boob area, not good, especially considered, <laughs> and speaking of the boob area, um, as you can see, growth, definite growth, to the point that my ex-girlfriend is actually jealous, <laughs> and a couple of my trans friends are, and really, compared to my body frame, they're still pretty tiny, but 
I'm almost filling a B and so I guess I can't really complain. They're definitely growing and they've been really, really sore for the last couple, for the last month especially. And you know, like again, I've had I've had to actually start wearing a bra every day because I couldn't handle with the bouncing and um <clears throat> and yeah. Um let's see, what else? My legs have gotten a lot shapelier again because of muscle reduction. They're starting to look more feminine, more fat on the thighs, and a bit more of a triangular shape instead of straight. Um, I put on a lot more hip and butt fat. As you can see, I have a bit of a round bottom now where before it was pretty flat, and especially when I'm wearing like a pair of skinny jeans, it really stands out and. Like people at the trans meeting say they're objectifying me because of that. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about it. But <clears throat> also, there have been kind of changes to my voice and mannerisms, believe it or not. I don't know how much of this is just self-acceptance versus me um, actively trying to change it. But, you know, I've noticed that I'm acting in a more feminine manner. and. You know, I'm kind of speaking with a lighter tone, and I'm not doing the, like, male bluntness that I was doing at the very beginning. Like, in my first video, I was kind of, like, standing like, Hello, everybody. My name is Charlie. Where now, um, you know, I feel a lot more feminine inside, and that's been a big change. And, you know, my mannerisms have kind of changed accordingly. Um, oh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, <coughs> wait a minute. I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, you know, for this stage in HRT, this seems to be pretty standard. Um, things have been going along pretty nicely, and I have met a couple of long-term HRT trans girls, and they say that things really start getting serious. Oh yeah, hair. That's the other thing. This is nine months of hair growth, and as you can see, it is not adequate yet. I'm still being gendered male without pretty much anybody even thinking about it. And again, I think it's just the hair. I think it's because when you look at the side and there's the squareness of my jaw and just the reduction pattern, I'm still feeling pretty self-conscious about the hair. And, you know, they say hair only grows six inches per year. I just got it cut for the last time in a while this January. so. This is now nine months of hair growth, and unfortunately it's not enough yet. I still have not been gendered female unless I am wearing the wig. So that kind of sucks. In a way, I'm still waiting for that validation of other people just seeing a girl no matter what. So kind of sucks. I wish I had started growing my hair out sooner, and I wish I hadn't have got it cut for my friend's wedding this January. But... Oh well, what's done is done. The important thing is it's regrowing. It was really thin when I started and now it's almost back to being full. There's still kind of a there's still kind of a spot on the back of my head, but it's it has been filling in and getting better. So this is my body, nine months on hormones. I expect to do another one at the one year mark, my one year tra anniversary. Um so yeah, I guess that's it. So um this is one person's experience with how HRT has affected me. Estrogen is awesome. I feel good. <laughs> and, you know, that's just a trans thing. So <laughs> don't take that as meaning anything in general. It's just because, you know, I felt like in my head that's what I should have had. And now it's like my emotions are right. And I've already talked about the emotional changes, though. So that's good. Bye.